Hillary Clinton's releasing her first campaign advertisements now as Vice President Joe Biden is said to be kind of maybe talking about getting into this race and making a possible run toward the White House in the number one slot. Secretary Clinton is set to start running his, her ads tomorrow in Iowa and New Hampshire, which hold the first two presidential contests. When I think about why I'm doing this, I think about my mother, Dorothy. She was, was abandoned. Well, Secretary Clinton is the clear front runner in the Democratic nomination, but Vice President Biden has not ruled out challenging her. Now Fox News has learned that he's hired two long-time long -time campaign advisors. Team Fox coverage continues. Ed Henry in Washington. What? What is this? Well, it's interesting. He's brought on Ted Kaufman as well as Mike Donilon, uh, we're confirming today. They're longtime political advisors, and some people close to the vice president point out they were also brought in in recent days to help the vice president, since they're close to him personally, uh, deal with the crisis of his son, Bo, uh, dying. You see Mike Donilon there in those pictures. Ted Kaufman will follow uh, shortly thereafter as well. And they were helping the vice president deal with the family crisis, but it's also true that these are two longtime advisors who could help him put together a presidential bid, uh, and that is putting the Clinton team a bit on defense. Here's Jen Paul Mary, the communications director. I have a great deal of love for uh, Vice President Biden, a lot of respect, ever, so did the Clintons, everyone on the campaign, and we're going to let him make his decision and otherwise stay out. If he wants to get in, he's going to have to do it rather quickly, uh, probably would have to announce it by the end of this month. People close to him say, Shep, because uh, Hillary Clinton, for all of her self-inflicted wounds on the Clinton Foundation, the email server, still has a commanding lead on the Democratic side and has had a big head start over Joe Biden in terms of fundraising. You have to wonder where the White House would be in a world where both the vice president and the former secretary say, it's, it's quite a predicament. Yes, and there are people close to the vice president who have been upset in recent months that they thought the president and his top aides were tilting towards Hillary Clinton before the vice president had even made a decision. Jen Paul Mary, who you just saw in that clip, left the White House to become communications director uh, for Hillary Clinton's campaign. Uh, president Obama, a couple years back, did a joint interview as Hillary Clinton was leaving the job as secretary of state uh, to tout all of her many accomplishments uh, on, on 60 Minutes. That left a lot of Biden people feeling wondering why uh, he appeared to be tilting towards Clinton. Uh, but interesting, Josh Ernest today uh, was saying, well, don't, don't leave Joe Biden out of this. Listen. The president certainly believes that a spirited contest would be in the best interest uh, of our party and in the best interest of our country. And those ads you mentioned for Hillary Clinton, some big money behind that. A million dollars in Iowa, a million dollars in New Hampshire. Uh, they start running tomorrow. Interesting as well, the timing, because it's two days before the Republican debate on Fox. A chance for her to put her message out there before the Republicans do their show. Ed, thank you.